in this video we will see how to count the number of nodes if there is a loop in a linked list so in the last video we saw the Floyd's algorithm and a couple of more algorithms to detect loop in a linked list if a linked list uh, loops within itself like the next of 5 is 2 so a normal linked list without loop here the last element would terminate its next will be null so this is the case where there is no loop and this is the case where there is a loop so in the last video we saw we, how we can detect the loop so we had one slow pointer and one fast pointer both initialized to head and then we were uh, moving the fast pointer by two steps and slow pointer by one step and eventually uh, the fast pointer will catch the slow pointer somewhere and if they meet again then we will say that there is a loop so in this case we will also count the number of elements in the loop if we count we have one two three and four four elements are in the loop those are two three four five so these four elements are present in the loop and we had some head one so this count should return four in this case so we will see how we can do that so now uh, once the slow and fast pointer meet let's say here after looping through this loop a couple of times or a couple of times or more say these two pointers meet here and here we were saying that there is a loop present and we were uh, just uh, exiting the code so now what we will do we will keep this slow pointer fixed here we don't need the fast pointer anymore so we will get rid of it and we will start iterating the list like we saw earlier so we will initialize a node to this node wherever the slow and fast pointer meet so now we know that slow pointer is inside the loop now what we will do I will keep increasing this next node this node that we initialized to slow node but we will keep the slow node fixed so this node will go here then then it will come here then here and finally it will come here again and now we will see that the node and the slow node are at this place and after each iteration we will increment the count so like we can initialize the count to 0 then go ahead here count will become 1 or we, we will initialize with 1 rather because this is the first element then 2 when n comes here count will be 3 when next it will be 4 and now if I go next I see that I have come back to the starting position that is the position where the slow node is so we will return that the count is 4 so we will just modify the Floyd's algorithm that we used in the last lecture so here so here we were returning true so instead let me create a function to count the node so initialize the count to 1 and create a new temporary node and initialize it to this node so here we will be passing the slow node the pointer to the slow node and it's returning int so I can print it here so 
so now both this current node and this node that is slow node are pointing to the same place so while its next is not equal to this node we will keep moving next and increment the count so this should print the number of nodes let's try this so we can comment out this part we will just use the floats method of detecting the loop so here it will print false because there was no loop and this i had added inside the loop case only so it should print false then this line then we inserted the loop that we saw in the last video and here after the loop is inserted it should print uh 5 it should print 5 so let's see yes so this 0 and 1 denote true and false so so no loop then loop inserted and the count is 5 and it's true so this is how we will find out how uh, find out the number of nodes inside the loop so thanks for watching and uh, give your valuable feedbacks on what uh, next videos you want to see and don't forget to subscribe thank you